kidney donation remains very important in our attempts to get people off of dialysis and off of the kidney waiting list. Robert Imes is off the list and back on the job at the Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore after receiving a live donor kidney. Donating a kidney is one of those life-changing moments that you can do for another person. Judy Payne did change someone's life, becoming a live donor in an operation similar to this one at Johns Hopkins. It didn't seem to be that hard of a decision. I like to give to others. I like to share what I can of my blessings. What we found is that live donation is very safe. The risk of dying from donating a kidney is 3 in 10,000, which is much lower than the risk of almost any other operation that you can undergo. Dr. Dori Segev from Johns Hopkins University Medical School and co-authors studied more than 80,000 live kidney donors nationwide from April 1994 through March of last year. If you match live donors to other healthy people in the population, there is no increased risk of dying down the road attributable to having only one kidney instead of two. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. If we look by subgroup, there is a slightly higher risk of dying from donating a kidney if you're male, and there's a slightly higher risk of dying from donating a kidney if you're African American. But researchers say those percentages on average are still quite low, and also that the proportion of donors over 50 has almost doubled. As we start to allow older patients to donate, as we start to allow other people with other kinds of diseases to donate kidneys, we want to make sure that this procedure remains safe for them and that they don't take any risk long term by donating a kidney. I did it and others do it and um, the more that do it, you know, the fewer people have to live um, in pain or die too young without one kidney. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.